Now let's talk to Philippe Willenkens in Paris to get his view on today's launch. While、well, he is the executive director of the International Astronautical Federation, the world's foremost space advocacy organization. Well, good morning to you, Mr. Willenkens. Shenzhou 8、uh, has just been launched, very successful. What is your take on China's space exploration efforts, Philippe? Well, good evening. Thank you.、Um, yeah, I'm very glad to hear that Chengdu 8 has、uh, has taken off.、Um, this is a, in a, the opinion of the International Astronautical Federation, a very historical moment for China、uh, China space program, and also for the international community because. Uh, at this stage, we hear that China is becoming more,、uh, more and more,、uh, one of the biggest players in the space、uh, in the space arena. So this is an extremely、uh, important and and and、uh, essential technological step for the human space program in China. After the、uh, initial、uh, steps in Chengdu One in '99 and the、um, the EVA and first、um, first EVA.、Uh, That that China has succeeded in in 2008.、Um, this third step is is in our opinion、mm. uh, one of the most challenging one. And, and Mr. Willikins, as a member of the IAF,、uh, China has been、uh, very active in pushing forward the human frontier of knowledge. Of course, what is your、uh, assessment of the consideration of China as a member of IAF? Well, we're very proud to、um, to have China as as one of our fifty、um, four different countries、um, and two hundred and fifth organization that is member of this international. Uh, Astronautical Federation, which was created 60 years ago,、um, of course, since 1980, the role of China is changing greatly. In particular, this past decade,、um, uh, we remember that、uh, China was hosting one of our major、uh, annual congress in in 1996 in Beijing.、Mm. Uh, at that time, China was listening carefully to the world and and learning a lot about. Uh, how to perform the,、uh, the the human space programs, and、uh, they had yet to demonstrate their capability.、Um, we we're looking at the next、um, opportunity for China to host the、uh, International Astronautical Congress in 2013 in Beijing, and I think、uh, by then the、um, the world is going to listen to China as opposed to what was done. Um, before we see China as as a,、um, a major player in all the activities, we have a vice president from China、uh, for the International Astronautical Federation. We do have、uh, people taking a lot of roles in in constituting the activities of the federation, and、uh, this is changing year by year、mm. as the experience is is gathering. Uh, we know Chinese taikonaut Daijigan received the flags from the IAF and then is on board Tiangong One and it will be retrieved this time with the Shenzhou Eight mission. What will become the four flags? Well, you know the, the the motto of the International Astronautical Federation is connecting space people, and、uh, we, we were looking for a very strong symbol to connect people.、Um, the flag is is、um, a symbol of a country, and、uh, the IF、uh, flag is trying to to give a symbol of of connection between peoples、uh, on a global scale for space activities. So the idea to have these flags flying on all Existing human space programs、uh, was really aiming at getting a a unique linkage between between all the people in in the world that are interest that have interest in in space activities. So、uh, we're looking forward that the next、um, mission, one of the two missions of next year's, the、uh, Chinese Taikonaut will bring this flag back、mm-hmm. and、uh, and and will will offer、uh, probably the only. Existing objects,、um, who, which have been in the hands of、uh, astronauts, taikonaut, cosmonauts,、uh-huh. uh, and spacenauts all over the world. All right, thank you very much,、uh, Mr. Willikins. That's Mr. Philip Willikins from Paris, from the IAF.